All right, what up y'all? I said I'd be making another video and I will, obviously. Um, we're going to make, like I kind of showed you in the last one, I uh, got some 3D NFL printed helmets that I've been doing um, ever so slowly and that's my goal uh, before the NFL season starts is to um, get them all done, basically. Uh, I've had to pause for a little bit. I went on vacation. Uh, I have also since been promoted and um, it has been a, a, a wild last two weeks, I would say. So um, maybe even going on three weeks now. So I just wanted to start building this helmet from what I said I would do. Um, we are going to make the Arizona Cardinals. If you can't see right here, I'm not really sure if you can or not. Uh, but I've already cut them out. I figured you guys wouldn't want me to you know, be watching me just cut out stuff. So um, these are on clear decal paper. I do use Sunny Scopa. I've, I've since moved on to Sunny Scopa. I do like them the best. I've coated them. Uh, I've treated them right. They are good to go to go on this helmet. So um, like we talked about in our how-to series, we've got a paper towel right here I have in my lap. I've got some water and I've got a little tub for my water. Move this guy out of the way. And we will get rolling. Don't need a whole lot. And that's also for me when I get thirsty. So um, if you don't know, these are 3D printed on my Illegal Mars right here, the red guy, and then I wash and cure in this Illegal uh, wash and cure station. They come off looking like this. Um, I also have some F7 models that I haven't really broken into. Oh, here's one that's cured. Uh, never really broken into just yet. Uh, I've got some college projects I want to do with that. I really want to do my NFL set and all speed flex, so I've been kind of hammering that out as we go. Um, but we're just moving right along and uh, stoked to be here. So these, what I will usually do, um, for those of you that kind of ask or kind of look at anything, I will always do stripes first, but... Um, in this particular helmet build, obviously we don't have stripes for the Arizona Cardinals. So what you do next after you do stripes is you'll do bumpers. Um, everything on this decal sheet in particular was a little bit big. Um, I wish I had done a little bit more, but I was afraid of my ink. Actually, that's not too bad. If I put it along right there. Oh yeah, that's not too bad at all. Perfect. So I... Uh, and I'll usually do this before I drill on the uh, on the mask, but in this particular instance, I will I cannot. Oops. Sometimes when there's too much water on the there we go. Sometimes when there's too much water on the paper towel as well, it'll stick to it. But oh, excuse me. So. Yeah, just a little teensy bit big. I can always come back later and change that, but I'll put that kind of toward the bottom. And if, if you're not happy with the position after you dried it, you can dab your finger a little bit and just wipe it on over and then get a dry finger or get something gentle to move it over. Just like that. I'd like you to go down a little bit if you do not mind. Down and down, I want you to go over. One more time. Okay. And now the water is pushing it around. You gotta be patient with it, obviously. So, and careful when you rip your finger off. Just like that. Because your finger is dry and it is sticking to your finger as you as you do everything. So. Alright, front bumper. Front bumper there. Um, then we will move on to rear bumper. And it only takes a few seconds for these things. Just like that. And then I'll just peel right off. You always put it up to there. That way when you push your thumb, it just goes right on. Like that. And when you do rear bumper, especially when you're working with 3D, always make sure that you uh, arc the text or the image that's going on the bumper. Um, usually about 10% will do it, for me at least, um, between that and 20. Cardinals on the back. 
Just like that. We're looking good, looking good. And then I will do the little itty bitty things. For the most part, for a lot of the NFL helmets, um, you will have the American flag will be on the left side of the back. So the opposite over here where my pinky is. Uh, if you're looking at it that way, and then the NFL will be on the other side. And I'm sure there's some exception, but um, for the most part, from what I have noticed, that is the not only a trend, I'm pretty sure that that's just the uniformity across the league. And of course, I don't know that for 100% certain, but I uh, feel pretty confident about that. So, there you go. All right, next we'll do the NFL logo. And you don't let these little guys go. You'll just dip them around back and forth. If you let them go in the uh, in your tub of water, you may never get them back. And by the time you do get them back, if you're pushing it around, trying to pull it up, pull it on the side, um, the uh, backing will come off of it. And um, then you're in danger of ripping your decal and oversaturating it and everything. So it's like that guy. And I'll go over those little vent holes that I need to peel some stuff out of. like that. I uh, do not have a number for that specific helmet, but I do have this green NFL decal to where you especially want to hold on to this guy. Just dip around one, two, and three. You should be good. That's the fun of working with the little, the little, little things. It's also annoying, I get it, but um, it's easy to work with these little guys. And I'm going to tuck him. I'm sure there's a Cardinals fan screaming at me right now. That I'm putting him too close or too far or whatever. But hey, this is my collection, not yours. Um, tuck him up right there. And normally the number would kind of go in the same area. But again, like I said, don't really have a number. So there you go. Um, we do have the warning decal uh, that goes on the back. around a little bit these always go on the right side pretty visible uh, obviously they have to for insurance um, the companies do at least it always kind of goes a little bit far in my mind but um, hey I get why I get why it's there and they can't exactly just shove it on the back so there you go there's our our rear. Let's see if you can focus on that a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so we will move on to the Cardinal logos. And these guys, just like that uh, rear bumper, you can just set them, set them and forget them, I guess. Um, wait a few seconds uh, for them to do it. Some people like to wait like a whole minute and stuff like that, but um, I'm not really big into that. So here we go. And for the most part, and like I kind of mentioned in the last video, for the most part, you're going to have the logo be above the uh, be above the mask, just like that. And you can tap it down with your finger. If you get a real wrinkles, that's okay. It'll be above the mask. I do have a this guy is going to be a Las Vegas Raiders. Um, if you know the Raiders, you know that their logo decal placement on their uh, shell is uh, interesting, to say the least. They uh, put it like even or below the actual face mask. They put it like down here. So there you go. I'm just up high and I don't really have a reference image because I'm using my phone to record, but if, if I do need to change it, uh, I won't clear this before the video is done since this will be a pretty quick one, but um, I will just double check and kind of do the, the same strategy as we did uh, with the front bumper was that if we need to, to move it, uh, I'll dab my finger um, and we'll just 
loosen it up and then we'll move it around, get it to where it needs to be if this is incorrect. So um, should have done that beforehand, but I did not think about that until after we started recording naturally. So you live with what you get. I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's like that guy. And you can tell um, by the tips of each decal if it's right or not. You kind of have to line it up on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, that's how you can tell really. It, it, it is a uh, eye test sometimes. Um, if you have a good reference image, an accurate reference image from the last year, um, you can uh, see exactly where it needs to go and everything, but for the most part, you can make a good educated guess. So this guy is done. We're on our way to the, uh, gosh, what do I have? So I've printed, like I said, the Las Vegas Raiders. I've also got, uh, I'm going to try this for the New York Giants. Um, I do plan on, I do have how many speed flexes do I have to my left? Two, four, I have six. Uh, additional helmets. I go about four at a time on the decals and the making and everything. So I am, this is number 12 on the collection. Like I said, I will back like that. Happy, happy. Um, I think the next I'm going to do is kind of the, the Washington football team, which could uh, be either, apparently not the Warriors um, from the article that I read. They could either be the Renegades or the Red Tails. Um, and then I'm thinking one other AFC team. I like to go even. So it's either going to be Baltimore or the, or the Steelers. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I thought about finishing the AFC South, but that would be what? That would be Houston. Eh, that's not a bad idea. I could do Houston. That's an easy one. Um, or Tennessee, which would be a, which would be kind of difficult. So thank you all for joining me on this helmet build video. We're going to do more just like it. Um, if you obviously want to follow along do a little bit more uh i do plan on making a separate video just making some custom orders this is an mvc and a, some d3 fcs other schools um order that i will have done this week and probably you'll see that video maybe the next so um yeah just let me know happy to be here subscribe and we will uh, see you for more